The front differential on the Silverados and Sierras can be a little tricky because there's just no room here. But let me show you how to do this and I'll also show you how to fill it properly so that way you have no issues. So start off with removing the skid plate if equipped. And then disconnect the connector for the steering gear for better bolt access. Pop off the harness attached to the front differential and then we'll remove the front differential bolts. In my case they are all 10mm bolts. They can be tough to get to and you just have to be creative with the angles and the tools that you use. Now keep in mind there is no drain on the front differential so it's once it's all unbolted it will spill out. So what I like to do is leave the two side bolts free so the fluid can drain out without coming out all at once. Check out the amount of debris this magnet caught. And this is exactly why I do this first service very early. The diff cover is now all cleaned up. That gasket is a bit of a pain to get off, but just fight it. And then the front differential is all cleaned up here. Maybe a little bit more gasket to remove there, but no big deal. I'll get to that. A new gasket is required, and here is the part number. The front cover goes back on the way that it came off. And I like to start all of the bolts before tightening, that way you just don't have any issues. Once tight, reconnect the power steering harness and the harness that goes on the front differential. Now let's fill the front diff. There are several different fluid capacities based on which differential you have. In my case, I have the SU5. And you're gonna have to check this out by going into your RPO codes uh, if you don't already know what they are. Depending on which one you have, also, a certain fluid will be required. Now, I jumped this whole system and I chose AMSOIL for mine, and the bags of fluid are much better than getting the bottles just because of the tight area. The fluid needs to be filled up to be 0 to 10 millimeters below the fill plug. Basically, once it starts to drain out, just let it continue to drain out until it stops and you're good to go.